Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and a lot of character meet and greets are actually returning today So I wanted to come out and show you guys and also I wanted to come hang out at Epcot and have a wonderful day Anywho's let's go do this since the shutdown, character meet and greets got changed to character sightings where you would just randomly stumble upon a character and uh, get the chance to take a social distance selfie. But today, some of those characters are returning to where they would always meet and greet guests and you can actually just stand in line and get to meet them. And that makes me so happy. I know that Joy is actually going back into the Imagination Pavilion where she used to actually just come out and walk around on that grassy knoll over there. Now she's back indoors and you know exactly where to go and meet her and that is like something that I've been missing a lot. Now not every character is coming back to their normal meet and greet spots but it's nice to see some of them return and it's a good step forward and I'm really happy like Mickey is back at Magic Kingdom, Minnie is over in Hollywood Studios and Donald Duck's going to be returning here to the Mexico Pavilion so I'm hoping we're going to be able to see him today as well. As you could just see right there, Goofy and Pluto are actually out in front of Spaceship Earth uh, doing a character sighting. That's what they switched to. But I noticed Pluto has a little something special around his neck that I want to point out. And I think it's really, really cool. Look at Pluto's Festival of the Arts collar right there. That is so awesome. Gracie <laughs> wants a little Festival of the Arts collar. I love your collar. It is beautiful. Very, very artsy. Oh yeah, and I love your whiskers too. Those are the best. Yeah, they're very springy. <laughs> Thank you, Pluto. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> I still get excited to see characters in the parks. I think it's one of my favorite things to do. And do you remember here at Epcot when they used to have like a Baymax meet and greet? And he used to go up and be able to hug him and he was so soft and amazing. And then they also had a uh, joy and sadness meet and greet together. So like there was some great uh, character meet and greets in the park. But everything changed now, especially since they got rid of Future World. So uh, Epcot itself is kind of lacking in the meet and greet like kind of area. And uh, hopefully once Future Future World or what is used to be Future World is finished. Maybe they'll add some more of those cool experiences back in there. We're going to head right on over to the Imagination Pavilion and we're going to see if Penelope and Joy are out. Those are two of the uh, characters I heard uh, rumored to actually return. I don't know about Wreck-It Ralph or not, but even if Penelope's there, that's still a really good start. I hope you guys don't mind the abundance of Epcot vlogs for the past couple of weeks. I just feel like there's always something new uh, happening and I always try to show you guys everything up to date. You know what I mean? So if characters are back, I try to show you like as soon as they come back. And uh, today's like I think my, my fifth Epcot vlog for the, the month of January already. Because I spent New Year's Eve here, I came and hung out with some friends and then Festival of the Arts. But I mean I love Epcot so I guess it's all good and fun. It is definitely a cold rainy day here at Epcot, so I want to show off the wait times. Test track was only 45 minutes, Spaceship Earth is 10 minutes, The Seas is 10 minutes, Soarin' is 40 minutes, Remy's Ratatouille is 95 minutes, and uh, Frozen Ever After is 70. I haven't rode Soarin' in a while, so maybe we might do Soarin' today. Right now it is Festival of the Arts, so there's a lot of paint and chalk work happening. So a rainy day is not the best for any of those activities. And uh, the paint by number mural looks like it took a hard hit today with the rain. And it's kind of sad. It's really sad actually. Looks like they weren't able to cover it up in time and a lot of the paint actually started running away. And it's a brand new mural they started, but look at... Oh, it's such a sad thing, but I guess you can just paint over it though, right? Because you're going to be painting in the other numbers there, and it looks like it's just freshly started. Maybe less than 100 people actually painted it. It looks like Winnie the Pooh is still meeting on the grassy knoll here, and this is where Joy used to meet and greet with Winnie the Pooh. They used to alternate, so I wonder if there's going to be another character that comes out, or if Winnie's just going to be holding down the grassy knoll for himself. Now we're going to head right on into the Imagination Pavilion and uh, a lot of people don't know like you don't have to ride Journey into Imagination with Figment to actually get over there. You can just go around the building. I know some people like maybe think that the only way to actually go in is actually to ride the ride and then get off because that's where the character meet and greets are. They're at the exit of the uh, Journey into Imagination ride and no you can just kind of cut to the side there. 
you can just go in right here to the What If Labs. And also, Mickey Mouse is meeting and greeting up there by the Disney Pixar Short Film Festival. That's always been his meet and greet for a while now. And uh, he returned there just a couple weeks ago. But today's the first day to see the characters back in here. I was kind of thinking there might be long lines today, but really nothing really long about it. Oh, here comes Penelope. She's coming through the link. Wow. Oh, Joey's coming through the link. Oh, that is so awesome. I guess we're gonna go see Joey first. We're gonna line up right over here in Imagination Land. It's also really important to point out that at these character meet and greets, there's a photo pass photographer because all the other character sightings, there's not a photo pass photographer. You just have to take the uh, selfie yourself. So it's really awesome to see that because that means more photo pass photographer uh, open positions. So more photo pass photographers, more character meet and greets, everything is a plus. The link is open up again. Here comes Penelope probably. Oh. That is so cool. I love it. And there she goes, she's going over on that side. That is such an amazing entrance right there. Like, you know, remember like watching the wrestlers entrance? Like, I feel like that's the same way. They're coming down and you got the Titan Tron, but wow. And I didn't know Joey came out of there too. And now you get to just go walk up and meet Joey. So happy to see you back inside, Joey. This is really awesome in Imagination Land. This is really great. I know it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, can we take a photo? Yeah, awesome, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joy, have a great day. <laughs> and now, since we're here, we might as well hop on over to see Penelope, but that is so awesome, isn't it? Like, it's really, really great to see them back indoors and actually meeting and greeting guests with the PhotoPass photographer. This is like such exciting news. Hi, Penelope. I hope you're having a great day. And if you see Ralph, tell him I said hello. Ralph, Racket Ralph, I love him. <laughs> He's the best. He's just wrecking things. So, so cool. But let's take a photo. <laughs> that is so, so awesome. And since we're over here, we might as well go up and say hi to the man himself because he's like right around the corner. As soon as you walk out of the What If Labs, you can see a sign that says, Visit with Mickey Mouse, the Magic Eye Theater, right up this way. So, of course we're gonna say hi to Mickey Mouse. How could we not? Also, I wanna point out, if you guys have never done the Disney Pixar Short Film Festival, some of the movies that they show here is actually on Disney Plus. So you can actually watch them at home and they are so, so good. Not all of them. I think Feast is actually on there. And maybe Piper, I'm not too sure, but Feast is amazing. Actually, all three of them are on Disney Plus. So you can watch all three of these uh, movies that are here at the Disney Pixar Short Film Festival on Disney Plus at home. Speaking of the man himself, I just wanted to stop in and say hello real quick. You know, I just ran into some other friends and uh, had to stop in and say hi to Mickey Mouse himself. So thank you, pal. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day. Nice. See ya. Bye. Now it's time to head over to World Showcase. We're gonna go check on Donald. But can you believe this? In just uh, not, like 20 minutes, we have met five Disney characters. Like 20 minutes, five Disney characters. I don't even know if that's ever happened before in the past, unless you get to see them all in one like area. But like that is so cool because we saw Pluto, Goofy, Mickey, uh, Penelope, and Joy. Like that's, that's mind blowing. Oh no, we're coming up on the uh, Festival of the Art Chalk Art and uh, I hope they were able to cover these up before the rain came because those are so beautiful and I hate to see them actually get ruined because it probably takes such a long time to actually make one of those like art paintings with chalk. I mean, it's, it's really detailed. Oh, they must have covered them up because they look actually perfect. Like that is amazing. I really like this. Nat Geo here. <laughs> We got a little turkey, it looks like. These are like so exquisite, aren't they? I mean, holy moly. Down here, though, yeah, they couldn't do anything about these because there's actually a gigantic puddle right there. So there's nothing left here. You can see the little remnants of them, though. 
since we're talking about character meet and greets, I thought it'd be fun to see what your favorite character meet and greet is. So let me know who your favorite character meet and greet was. I'll tell you, mine is a close tie between two. I loved meeting Oogie Boogie. Like, actually meeting him. I met him at Magic Kingdom during uh, Moonlight Magic, and he like hugged me like, he was just so perfect the way that he was and also uh, I think during that same Moonlight Magic I got to meet all of the hyenas from the Lion King and that was so cool because there were the uh, hyenas like that came out for the parade and they were just like bobbing their heads and it was so amazing uh, but those two are the first ones that come to my mind now there might be some other ones that I can't remember at the moment but whenever I think meet and greets it's those two so let me know in the comments which one was your favorite I'm making my way over to Mexico because I want to see if Donald's out, but I think we're going to stumble upon our sixth character now because Minnie is meeting in this gazebo right here. Oh no, she's leaving. There she goes. Oh, <laughs> we missed her just by a second, but you can see her actually walking through the crowds and she was just like meeting and greeting right here. And that's so cool. This is another one of those spontaneous or character sightings. They don't have photo pass photographers and you have a pretty big distance away from you and the character. So like I said, I'm very excited to see the actual meet and greets come back where you have the photo pass photographer and you're not 10 feet away. I'm sure she's actually going to be coming back out that way, uh, so we might walk back this way. Oh, actually, I think I want to go over and try something from the Pop Eat stand, because now I can officially do it without having to wait in a six-hour line to get the Figment popcorn bucket. And that's the only food stand I think I haven't gotten anything from yet. I think that's the only one that's remaining. I'm not too sure if we're going to find Donald because, like I said, it is raining out and his uh, meet and greet location is over here and it's completely outdoors so there's nowhere uh, for coverage. Minnie, when we were walking by, she actually stands underneath the gazebo so it's not so bad but I'm not too sure if Donald's going to be out but we'll find out when we get up here. Oh no, it's looking like he's not here but there is a line so that means he might have just went back in and he might come back out so I think we're going to hop in line and wait. You see right here is where his meet and greet location is and there's kind of like a little overlap right there so he can stay a little bit dry and uh, there's a, a kind of a wait of people waiting to actually see if he comes out. This is one of my favorite character meet and greets because I think it's the only one that was designated for Donald himself. I can't think of anywhere else in the parks where you know where you can go to guarantee to see Donald. Sometimes he's hanging off the rafters at Hollywood Studios, but I've always associated Donald here at uh, Epcot in the Mexico Pavilion. And I spoke too soon because look at here comes Donald. I'm so excited. I came just at the right second. Hi, pal. I like that sombrero. Dale, thank you! <laughs> Look at that waddle. <laughs> So the really amazing thing about this character meet and greet is it's all outside. You don't need to wear a mask and they have a photo pass photographer. And I think that's the first of its kind. I'm trying to think like in my head where they actually have a photo pass photographer on site, the character's outside and you don't need to wear a mask. I don't think there's any other ones in the parks. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I think like always one of those is missing one of those. So I don't know, I'm excited. Hello, Donald. I had to come over so we can get a photo. So excited to see you. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to get a sombrero to match you one day and come take a photo because that would be really, really awesome. Yeah, right? I mean, I have a nice, adorable hat on, but it's not as good as yours. Like, that's the way. That is the way. <laughs> oh, wait, let's take a photo. <laughs> That is so amazing, isn't it? Honestly, like I had no idea that I was gonna be able to come here today and see as many characters as I have in such a short time. Like I don't even think I've been here for an hour. I came in and just made a walk, a lap right around and uh, six characters, six characters and probably just over 30 minutes. Like that is mind blowing. No, it's seven. It's seven characters. Wow, today is really turning into something else. I'm really happy about it. I could actually make it nine characters if I wanted to wait in the giant line here because it looks like Anna and Elsa are both out meeting and greeting and uh, this is another character sighting. So there's no photo pass photographer here. You just walk up and take a social distance selfie. But look at that. It's really awesome to see both of them at the same time. 
Now let's actually head on over to Pop Eats so uh, we can try some of the food there. Like I said, I haven't been able to eat there yet because of the line for the Figment popcorn bucket, uh, but now it's officially sold out, so uh, shouldn't be that long of a wait. Just like I said before, Minnie's back underneath the gazebo here, or hanging out by the gazebo. And isn't that awesome? I think I remember uh, Duffy the Bear used to actually do a meet and greet here. So it's really cool to see Minnie actually utilizing the space. And it's at, it's like perfect for a meet and greet, uh, Disney character sighting. Now there is no photo pass with this one either. And I'm just trying to show you guys what the difference between a meet and greet and a photo, uh, a Disney uh, character sighting. Obviously no photo pass or anything like that and a designated spot. So Minnie won't always be here. Now we're back over at Pop Beats and there's actually a longer line than I would have expected. Like I know it's a very popular stand and probably people who weren't able to actually get food the past couple times they've come, now is the only time to come and get it. So it kind of makes sense, but there is a little bit of a wait. Here is the menu, and I know the tomato soup and grilled cheese is probably the most popular item, but I always love coming to get the almond frangipan cake. It is so amazing, uh, but this pop art sounds a little bit interesting too, so maybe we'll buy them both and just kind of uh, nibble on them. I know I love the cake, but I never had the pop art before. They also have a tomato soup can Bloody Mary and a Brooklyn Brewery Pulp Art Hazy IPA. So wow, those are actually really questionable. And here is the line. Like I said, it's nowhere near the six hour line, but it's still kind of a long line just for a food stand, you know? I'm sure it's really popular here today because they have the tomato soup and it's 53 degrees. So it's a rainy 53 degree day here at Epcot. So tomato soup and grilled cheese actually is probably a big hit, but I'm more about the frangipan pancake. And here they are. So we've got first the almond frangipan cake. This is layered with raspberry jam and Belgium chocolate. And I love this. This is always my festival favorite. I think this is an opening day festival uh, item. I think it's been here since the very first Festival of the Arts five years ago. And I think I get it every single year. And then we've got the pop art. Popped art. Pop tart. So like pop tart. And this is a sugar cookie with chocolate hazelnut filling in it. I mean, this is going to be okay, I can tell already, but that I love. We're going to cut into it. And you know, this is actually something a lot of people don't like, but I just love it. I love the texture and uh, it's not like a soft, moist cake. It is like very distinguished and it has a strong almond taste to it. But uh, yeah, so, so good. And it's so colorful. That's a big old slice of cake on a fork here. <laughs> Look at that. But here we go. Mm. So good. The other day I was at Publix and I found uh, something just like this that they sell like in the grocery store and it's little tiny uh, frangipan pancakes. So I kind of thought I should try it one day. Maybe I'll get them next time I go to Publix but this is just unbelievable. <laughs> now we're gonna try the popped art, and this has a hazelnut filling inside, sugar cookie and frosting, so we're gonna actually break it right in half. Let's see, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't crumble apart. Ah, I think it looks a little dry already. Like, I feel like Pop-Tarts can be a little bit dry, even the ones that are over in Woody's Lunchbox, uh, but I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a go here. Mm-hmm. Very, very dry. Holy moly. Hmm. I should have got a milk. <laughs> Even though it is super dry, I do have to say it is really actually good. The only bad side to it is how dry it is. But the uh, combination between hazelnut and sugar cookie, it's actually a really good mix. And it's uh, a little bit soft on the outside like inside here, but I think once you get to these corner spots right here where the hazelnut isn't there, it is super cardboardish. I would definitely get the frangipan cake again because I've gotten it for five years in a row, but uh, I probably pass on the pop tart, the popped art. I do have to say that pop tart is better than any of the pop tarts at Woody's Lunchbox. I'd give you that 100% because those I just feel like are complete cardboard. Like they are super, super dry. 
now I think we're gonna make our way back over to the land and uh, maybe check in on Soren or living with the land. I feel like it's been a while since I've been in there. My last Epcot video, I kind of did all of the attractions over here in uh, Future World, uh, except for everything in the land. So it seems like a good spot to go today. Also, as we're walking back to the land, our question whether or not Winnie the Pooh is holding down the grassy knoll to himself has been answered, and it looks like he is. He's holding it down while Joy's back in her spot. Winnie the Pooh actually used to meet in World Showcase in the UK Pavilion. Uh, they actually have, uh, they used to have Christopher Robin's room back there, but uh, they kind of use it just for storage now. I wish they would bring that back because that was really cool. But look, there he is, way over there. Did we even count him as a character in the beginning? Holy moly, I don't think we did. So that means, like, I don't need, I lost, I lost count. I lost count, I don't even know. I think the total's 10 now, 10 characters. Wow, that is mind blowing. But thanks, Pooh. <laughs> oh, he just looked over. <laughs> and I think we really lucked out today because the wait time is only a 25 minute wait. 25 minutes for Soren, I will take that any day. Hello, welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Like 20 minutes we're actually in there. So uh, pretty true to the time. And I think we're in the third row. So we're gonna be having some feet in our view. Normally I always try to focus on showing uh, the attraction itself, but today I kind of want to show you guys how the mechanics work as you're riding Soren. And being in the back row gives you a good point of view for that. So we'll see it actually take off in a second here. Soren to tower. We are ready for takeoff. That was super cool that we were able to get on uh, Soren in like under 25 minutes. Like I was not expecting that at all. And it was great to ride it. It's one of my all time favorite attractions. Actually, you know, this is a unpopular opinion, but I like it better than Flight of Passage. I say that all the time, only because I have such a connection to Soren. I've always wanted to travel the world and that's the closest I've ever come to actually travel in the world. Uh, so I really do love it. But now, I think uh, maybe we'll make our way over to Test Track because that was the only other ride that I didn't do last time I was here and uh, I'm sure it might be open. I know it was raining earlier, but we'll find out when we get closer if we can hear it or not. 
as we make our way over to Test Track, which I can successfully hear it running right now, so I think it is open. I wanted to stop and show some of the art here for the Festival of the Arts, and look at these tables over here. Aren't they just masterpieces? I mean, they're pretty expensive. I think they're like $20,000. They don't have prices on them, but take a look at Beauty and the Beast here, and then the Little Mermaid one over here. Like, these are so, like, breathtaking. What is this one here? I think this is uh, Fantasmic right here. Yeah, because you got Merlin over there. Oh, wow. I would want to get this one out of all of them. Because you have all the Sorcerer Mickeys. You have the mops and the water buckets. These are really, really impressive. Probably the best thing at the Festival of the Arts when it comes to art-wise. Oh, look at this statue of the witch. Holy moly. These are something else. I've seen this before at uh, Artist Point at Wilderness Lodge. They actually have this one on display there, but I'll take any of them. Any of them, please. <laughs> we made it over the test track, and it says now it's a 55 minute wait, but it doesn't look that long at all. I mean, oh, maybe it does a little bit. 55 minutes and the line is just on the inside there. At first, I didn't think it looked too bad, so uh, I still think we're just gonna go single rider. I mean, what? Why wait in line? We're uh, if we could just do single rider. You know what I mean? There is absolutely nobody in line. Look at this. Wow. That is so so awesome. It was a complete walk on. Like we walked right up the single rider line. We can get off and just ride again if we wanted to. Well, this is the first for me. I'm a single rider, but I'm gonna be in the middle. <laughs> this is gonna be a little strange. There we go. Hello. The seatbelt check is around the cruiser. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened in your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle. I'm not trying to. I might need to be taking this off and holding it. Ooh, I'm bald. Today just seems like a really, really good day. We've gotten so much accomplished and then doing test track uh, in the single rider line and we didn't even have to wait. But it was funny because I was sitting in the middle and that's never happened to me before. Because usually as a single rider, you uh, are the person like uh, behind like the two people or the party of three or the party of four but for some reason uh they ended up sending a bunch of single riders in and the people that were like with me were together uh it was like a mom and a daughter and uh, they were separated like from the front to the back so i told the mom if she wanted to sit up with the daughter then i would hop in the back so i switched with them so they could ride together and they kind of just got the luck of the deal there and it was fun it was nice and we didn't wait at all we walked straight on now I think I'm going to take a quick pit stop into the creation shop to see if they have the spirit jersey I've been looking for. And uh, I think I had a big talk about my spirit jersey problems the other day at Disney Springs. But uh, we're on the lookout for a very particular one. Looks like they brought out the new 50th anniversary Lux jacket. This is the first time I'm seeing this actually here. And it feels nice, like good material. I don't know what they got going around it, but I don't know the price. 
It looks like all the price tags are ripped off them. Look, there's no price tags on there. Isn't that so strange? I wonder if they're hanging off somewhere. There is no price tags at all on them. And there's only two left and they're in the small. But I wonder how much that is. I might have to Google it, but I'm gonna guess $250. $250 for that jacket, I'm gonna guess. I was super close. Well, not really super close. I said 200, but I looked it up online. It's $150 for that jacket, which isn't too bad because the spirit jersey, like that 50th anniversary Lux spirit jersey, that's $130. I mean, those are some expensive threads right there. I mean, you really gotta be a baller to be walking around in them. Can you imagine having the spirit jersey, the pajama bottoms and the jacket? It'd be almost $600. I actually tucked over here to record that last part because of the lighting was good and I was sitting here talking and uh, kind of got a little freaked out by this mask. Look at kind of kind of a little bit scary there. Don't you think? <laughs> that is the most frightening mannequin I think I've ever seen. I've never encountered something like this before. Look at me. <laughs> Can't see where your eyes are at. <laughs> Another cool shirt that I've never seen before actually shirts is uh, these Hercules ones They got the muscle and then we got the muse. So that's really cool. We definitely need more Hercules apparel I love Hercules. It's one of my all-time favorite Disney movies So uh, I would love to get a Hercules spirit jersey. I don't even know if that exists, but it should exist You know what I mean? That should be a thing by now Okay, so a quick update on as the spirit jersey turns. The spirit jersey that I'm looking for is uh, the vault collectible spirit jersey. And I just found out that they accidentally released some of them early. Like uh, all the places that I've seen it, uh, they actually recalled them. They took them back off the shelves and they don't come out till this Monday. So I'm gonna be looking for them Monday and I'm so excited. I hope I can get it because it looks so, so cool. Look at how majestic this looks right here. Oh my lord, you can see the reflection of Spaceship Earth and the monorail. That is so cool. Still to this day, the best thing that's come from the 50th anniversary. Now we made our way back out to the front of the park and I think I am calling it a night here. It is so cold. Uh, I'm wearing shorts and my uh, button-up shirt and it is 47 degrees out. It is so, so cold. So I'm calling it a night and it's a little bit early too. Usually I'm here much later on, but uh, yeah, kind of just want to go home and get all warm and buzzled up, you know? Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!